One of my favorite things about watching Casper cartoons is having these beautiful memories unlocked. And this is exactly what happened with the 1951 Taboo or Not Taboo. I loved every second of this. And after about 10 seconds, the memories came flooding back to me. But I'd forgotten the surprise. Something happens in this that is so unpredictable. And there will be spoilers as I discuss what happens in this. So there will be spoilers from now. This was released, as I said, in 1951. It's directed by Izzy Sparber and Myron Waldman and written by Lars Bourne, with voices provided by Jackson Beck, Jack Mercer, Mae Questel, and Alan Shea. And it's Halloween. And it starts off with two children dressed in kind of clown outfits, going trick-or-treating, inviting Casper along, but they find out he's a real ghost. Casper thinks, I can't even make friends on Halloween. But then he finds a Halloween party, and there's a bucket of paint outside of it. So he dips himself in the paint, and that kind of masks his translucent appearance, and he is able to go to the party, and he meets this adorable little girl called Lou. And they dance together, they play games. The The party itself is so fun. It is such a fabulous animation. And I loved every second of the party atmosphere. The characters wearing different costumes. A prominent memory for me is the guy who was um, bobbing for apples or swinging for apples. I don't know. The apple's on a string. It's not in a bucket of water. But he loses his teeth. And that was such a prominent memory for me. And unfortunately, Casper ends up, as I said, these are spoilers, Casper ends up losing his paint. He gets wet and his paint comes away and people see that he's a real ghost and they scream and run away. But Lou doesn't. And then Lou takes off her head. <laughs> the ghost girl underneath is uh, revealed and I think that's just so unpredictable that the little girl was actually a ghost. Also kind of sad because it means the little girl had died but I thought that was fabulous and just the joy both characters feel to have found their soulmate. What a beautiful message that there's somebody out there for everybody even for Casper. Sometimes you just don't know it because you can't see because they're wearing a costume of a little girl but I rather enjoyed this one a lot. The memories just were so beautiful. I'd completely forgotten about this. I probably haven't thought about this in 20 plus years and I loved every second of it. Beautiful animation, gorgeous story, an absolute delight. Taboo or not taboo is fabulous. <laughs>